You know, here's one of those things that I don't know if I'm supposed to chalk it up into uh, old age or losing your memory because you're getting older. I don't know, but my son came over this past weekend. So my mind has been on the fact that uh, my 16-year-old daughter was kicked out of the house she was in, which to me that's the important part. And uh, he's not going to school anymore. And I'm paying child support for both of these two when... She's kicked out of the house and not going back. So when I say kicked out, like my daughter doesn't want to go back anyway. And she's got a friend to stay with. So, hey, if that's what she's going to do, I can't make her do anything. So you know, it's just the way it is. I guess parents have no say. Even when kids are underage, you have no say. And uh, that concerns me, you know, my daughter being out there. And I want to live with her and see her. And now she's out on her own. And that's going to make it even more odd. And I just, I'm concerned for her. So that's one concern. And then the thing about the child support, being my personal life stuff, being a family member, you'll get to, you'll see why I'm saying this. And then on the other hand, the other two kids, Jazzy and Leo, the younger two, they don't even live in the same house anymore. You see, you go by their old house and it's overgrown. Their mom hasn't answered me for a year and a half, almost two years. So I don't even know where my other two kids are. So that really, really, really concerns me as a parent. And it really pisses me off because I've been reaching out to try to find somebody to help me because the courthouse is not on our side. There's no one I can go to to talk to about it. No one seems to care. And they all say, oh, just be happy. Find something to be happy about. I'm like, my, my kids have been taken away. I don't know where they are. What do you mean? Just find something to be happy. How, what would you do? And people don't understand because it's not their situation. Now, the only people that will even listen to me somewhat are my parents. So I'm talking to my parents about stuff like this. And my dad's watching a nature show. And that happens to be on location somewhere in Texas. And they're, they're sitting there talking back and forth. Like, right after I'm, I'm trying to say something about the subject, and my dad's like, like, he does that kind of thing where he makes his downward eyebrows and does this tick sound with his mouth like he's annoyed. Like, come on. And, like, I, I, I see him. He even says it sometimes. Like, come on. And I'm like, dude, I'm talking about my fucking kids being taken or missing, and I have no idea where they are. And the other one got kicked out. And then, you know, the only thing that they'll comment about is the child support part. That's why I even brought that part up. I could give a shit less. I'm not paying the criminal government. But the, you know, it's, it's, this, the point is, am I just supposed to ignore the fact that they just obviously don't care when I bring it up and they just, like... And if I was to say, you don't care about your own family members, and they would say, yes, we do, or yeah, we do, I'm like, you don't show it. When I bring them up, you, you get angry because you want to hear the TV. And, and two seconds after, like, I'm trying to pour my heart out about an issue that is really concerning me and that affects my children and their grandchildren, the, the next comment that they say showing what's on their mind is, there must be a lot of snakes around there. Yeah, it must be. And I'm thinking, like, why do you give a fuck about somewhere that's 20 states away from us and how many snakes they have when your grandchildren are missing or unknown about? And nobody is going to do anything about it. And I, your son, who loves his children, wants to see them, and you're not giving a shit. Am I just supposed to say, ha ha, cool, let me go watch a TV show, guys. That's what I should do. And people think that I'm crazy for acting this way. How would you feel if someone took your kids and you can't find them? How would you feel if your kids have been the other, on another side, the other half of the family, has been kept from you for so long they could care less about talking to you when all you wanted to do was see them? And it wasn't your fault. You called them, you tried to message them, you'd email them, and they just wouldn't answer back because they were taught through a school system that doesn't want you to learn. So they don't even know half of them don't even know how to read very well, and they don't want to because they make schoolwork and learning seem unfun. Well, I could show you guys how learning is actually really fun because the smarter you are, the more you'll know how the world works and not the way the world works according to fucking distorted human beings who ruin other people's lives. And this is the kind of stuff that I have to wonder how I'm ever going to get anybody to do anything conscious if they just can't think. My, I can't even get my own family to listen to me when it has to do with their family members. And some, I don't know, I wouldn't say they're in danger, but they're in stressful situations. And they're in situations that are unknown about and that they shouldn't have to be going through on their own. And I can't help them without someone else helping me. And that's what sucks because the system is against me. And I have to have other people help me fight the system because deep down, that's what we're going to all have to eventually do someday unless you're just some kind of farm animal who's waiting to die. And it's really sad to say it that way, but I mean it. And I mean it because I love people and I'm trying to wake us up so that we can be better than what we are and we could be so much better because right now we're shit.
Anyway, till next time.